If you're a crafter, you probably use hot glue often. But today I'm going to show you some really neat hacks, uses, and hot glue products you may never heard of. Hi everyone, my name is Shannon and welcome to my channel, The Daily DIYer. I also want to thank Birch Living for sponsoring today's video. Now I won't let you wait any longer, let's get into these 25 hot glue hacks. Did you know Dollar Tree carries so many amazing different things for your hot glue gun, including different sized hot glue sticks? And these are actually really great quality, so I do recommend these. Just grab the size that you need, depending on your hot glue gun. And if you see these glitter glue sticks, definitely grab them. They're a great bargain, only $1.25 versus the ones at the craft store, which are $2.99, so over 50% savings. Also, we want to protect our hands from the hot glue, and Dollar Tree carries these great finger protectors and another great hack is grabbing one of these silicone facial mask wands they're silicone so they don't stick to the hot glue and save your fingers I'll show you how that works here in just a second so stay tuned but definitely also grab one of these glue and residue erasers you can find in the crafter square at Dollar Tree I've had one for years from the craft store and obviously paid more than a dollar 25 so a great deal these are awesome for taking residue and glue off of your work surface cleans it all up for you easy peasy. If you have a bigger project, use this hack. It is great and will save you time. Take smaller glue sticks and hot glue them together end to end to make one long glue stick. Then you can go ahead and insert that into your hot glue gun and you are ready for some mega crafting. This next hack you see me use often here on the Daily DIYer channel, combining hot glue with super glue. So hot glue is going to set up quickly for you, but your super glue is gonna be a more tight bond. So what you'll do is you'll actually add both onto items like wax and styrofoam. So that way you can keep working with your project and go quickly since the hot glue will dry. And then as it sets up, your super glue will give you a much tighter bond. You can quickly and inexpensively make your own hot glue gun stand out of a binder clip. Just open up those metal tabs and then insert the tip of your hot glue gun. I love this because it keeps your tip up off your work surface and keeps it protected. Another amazing way to protect your work surface is with silicone mats. Now, obviously you see I have several of them as I use them in backdrops to keep things interesting here on my channel, but I actually do use every single one of these. I love them so much because it keeps your surface safe and you can wipe them down from not only adhesive, but also paint and you wipe it, spray it and wipe it and they're basically brand new and you can use them all over again but I love to craft with them as well. So this first idea is using some clear glue sticks. We're just basically going to squeeze a bunch out into a blob on our silicone mat. Let that cool and dry. And as you can see here, using some paint pens to create a little snowman face. Once it's dry, you can peel it right off your mat and we have a little snowman face. You can flip it over, add a little string onto the back and you have your own DIY melted snowman or ornament. These would also be so great to add on to Christmas gifts as little gift toppers. Another idea using a smaller silicone mat here is to make your own snowflakes. So once these are created and they're completely dry, you can attach them onto glass in different ways. And I'll show you how I've used mine here in just a second. But you can also use those glitter glue sticks that we found at Dollar Tree. You could use colored glue sticks too they will all work the same. And you can see here, they just peel right off of the silicone mat. And I decided to add mine onto a glass lantern that we had left over from our wedding that I use on our fireplace just as decor. And this is a simple, easy way to dress it up for Christmas or for winter. This is such a fun way to create a cupcake or cake topper using some clear glue sticks here. I'm creating the number four, just kind of going around the edges and outlining this to make it thicker. You do want to work pretty quickly though because we don't want that glue to melt. At this point, I added in some fun confetti, push it on there. This is where that facial mask applicator comes in handy. So instead of using your fingers to push the confetti down into the hot glue, use that wand, or you could use the finger protectors too 
That way you get that confetti down into the hot glue. Let it sit, let it dry, let it cool down, peel it off of your silicone mat, and then you can pick off all of the loose confetti and kind of reveal some of that clear glue as well to give it a fun look. Super easy, kind of shake it off, make sure you get all the loose stuff off and you can add it into a cupcake or a cake. I also have some fun ways you can use hot glue around the house. This is one we personally use all the time. We buy these hangers from Dollar Tree and they do have the little cutout in them, which is great for spaghetti strapped things. But if you have any kind of flowy dress or cardigan, if you add some hot glue, just stripes of it down your hangers, it will make them non-slip. So it'll look kind of like this. You just add in your flowy item that might just tend to slip off of your hanger and it makes it completely non-slip. Again, we use this all the time. So quick and easy, worth the extra little step to keep your items falling to the floor. Thank you again to Birch Living for sponsoring this video. We recently updated our bedroom and the mattress was the very most important part. Birch is a premium mattress in a box company that makes mattresses and sleep products that are stylish, comfortable, and environmentally conscious. It was important for me to choose a Birch mattress that is made with organic and natural materials because unlike synthetic mattresses, the wool in these mattresses makes it hypoallergenic, which means it's both allergen and mildew resistant. It amazed me how incredibly easy this was to set up. I did need my husband's help to get the mattress up on the bed, but then it pretty much just unraveled all by itself. And you can see here after two hours, it is ready to sleep on. In addition to being a better mattress for me, Birch is committed to being better for the planet. I love that throughout the creation of their mattresses, Birch ensures that their materials are produced and harvest sustainably. We did order the Birch Lux mattress, which is a premium upgrade to their original well-loved Birch Natural mattress, but I am so glad we did. We love this mattress so much. My husband was complaining of so many back aches with our old mattress, and he said this has made his back aches go away. And I have to tell you, it is so nice and cooling, and I fall asleep right away. With your Birch mattress, you get a 100 night sleep trial along with a 25 year warranty and you'll also get it delivered right to your front door for free within the United States. I love my Birch Lux mattress and I think you would too. If you're looking for a new bed, check out Birch. You can click the link below or go to birchliving.com backslash daily DIYer and you'll get $400 off your mattress plus two free pillows. This was so much easier to shop online versus going to the store to purchase. So make sure you guys check out that link that I'll have down in the description box below. We love this mattress and I think you will too. And if you'd like to see our bedroom makeover video, I will link that down in the description box below too. It's kind of fun to see the process and also the before and after. So definitely check that out. Now back to our hot glue. Did you know that they make fabric hot glue sticks? I love these. I'm not a big fan of sewing, so I usually resort to these fabric hot glue sticks. I thought it'd be fun to show you how to make a quick pillow out of a Dollar Tree tote bag. So I just cut the handles off. You can use fabric paint, you can buy iron-ons, or you can create your own with a Cricut machine. This is HTV. You just heat set it on and then peel off the plastic topping. And then you can go ahead and add your stuffing to your now pillow. Fold under the edge and use your fabric hot glue to basically seam this all together. Of course, you can always sew if you prefer, but if you're like me, this is a quick and easy way without having to get out my sewing machine. And this stuff works and holds up so, so good. Highly recommend it. I've used it for indoors and for outdoors and it works great. I love this cute little pillow and for $1.25, what a deal. You can also make cute seasonal decor with mason jars and hot glue, or Dollar Tree carries these great lantern styles that have a little hanger on the top. I thought it'd be fun to make one for fall, so I'm using my clear hot glue to make a little leaf on the front, adding some little detail in there. Get creative with this for whatever holiday and season you'd like to make yours for. I did go ahead, remove the wire handle, and if you have been around a while, you know I'm obsessed with copper spray paint. So using this to create some fall decor for my home, just spraying the glass. And that hot glue gives you a really 
pretty raised design. Once it's dry, add your hanger back on there. You can add florals to this or a candle to make it a luminary. Speaking of luminaries, keep an eye out for these awesome lanterns Dollar Tree just got in. They have a battery powered candle in the bottom and we're gonna pair this with some colored glue sticks, specifically the white one from this pack. I do get these off Amazon and I will make sure to link them down in the description box below to make it easy for you to find. But I use the white all the time to create winter and Christmas decor. It looks so cute added onto these lanterns, just adding some around the edges kind of making a icicle type look but it looks like snow once it dries and then you can embellish however you want obviously creating this for christmas time so adding some fur and some or some fur branches and some red berries on there covering up the center with a simple ribbon bow hot glued onto the center so quick and easy this is what it looks like with the candle on so pretty it definitely doesn't look like it's from dollar tree anymore simple little additions like the colored glue sticks can really amp up your decor this is another amazing way to use the colored glue sticks. I'm inserting a red one into this inexpensive hot glue gun. I will link all of my glue guns down in the description box below. We're gonna make a wax seal with it. Basically, you just squeeze out a bunch of the colored glue stick onto your envelope. This is a little seal stamp. You leave it set, let your hot glue completely cool and dry before removing the stamp and look what it leaves behind. It is so quick and easy, but add such a special touch. Less mess than using wax and would be so cute for wedding invitations or obviously Christmas cards too. Next up, I found these great candle holders at Dollar Tree. So I thought I would show you a quick and easy DIY using some heavy duty glue sticks. You can find these at Walmart and craft stores. It's Gorilla Glue and it says it is five times stronger than regular hot glue. So if you have a project that you're worried about breaking or falling over like these candlesticks, definitely grab the heavy duty glue sticks and they are so, this was so quick and easy to put together. Great to use the heavier duty glue sticks for projects like this. These are some super fun ways to actually use your hot glue that are useful too. You can find all kinds of fun and cute socks at Dollar Tree and you can make them no slip with using your fabric hot glue sticks, just adding some dots or some lines onto the bottoms of your socks. Now, obviously you wanna let these cool and dry before putting them on keep them away from your skin till they're dry. And then you have some cute house slipper socks this next hack with these gloves from Dollar Tree, I'm gonna say worked, but didn't work. So stay tuned and I'll tell you why. We're gonna add some hot glue onto the insides of these gloves. My whole point of this was to create a little fur brush type situation for our new puppy, Honey. She sheds so bad. So, so hopeful this would work. I just did it in a couple different ways. Some going horizontally, some going vertically, just to see what would work best. However, I will say kind of stay away from the regular hot glue. The Gorilla glue may work on this or like a silicone glue. Here is Honey. Of course, I need to introduce you. If you have not seen her yet, you'll see her a lot over on Instagram though. So if you're not following me there, definitely check the link I'll have down below. She is a Cavalier slash Golden Retriever puppy and she was so good she actually really loved being brushed with these gloves but the glue didn't stay on them well so even though it did get fur off some of the glue fell off so i made sure we didn't use that we got rid of those kept her safe obviously when it comes to pets be careful find a better way it would work if you use the right glue similar to that we're gonna add some hot glue into this little container that i found in the office section at Dollar Tree, but you could use other containers that you might already have as well. We're going to take our hot glue and we're going to make some wiggly lines in the bottom of this to create a brush cleaner. So make sure to let this completely dry and cool and then it is waterproof. So you can take it into the bathroom. I use a little bit of Castile soap in the dish, add some water and use that to clean my makeup brushes. You do something very similar to this and use the same technique to clean your art and paint brushes too. 
Once I have my brushes good and scrubbed, I then clean out the dish, add some fresh water and restart rubbing those brushes in there to get them clean, let them dry, let your dish dry out. You can use that over and over. This is super fun, especially if you're a crafter, like getting creative. I found these little dice at Dollar Tree. They're wood. We're gonna add some designs onto each side and basically make a multi-sided stamp. So this side, I added a heart. Each side, I changed to a different design, but you could do numbers, you could do letters. And then once it's all dry, go ahead, you can add some paint or some ink. Just press down and you have a nice custom stamp. I will say the key to this is making sure your hot glue is pretty even because if you have any sides that are kind of uh, too thin then they don't want to stamp very evenly but it's fun to play around with and try out if you're in need of a new mattress definitely highly recommend birch check the link down in the description box below give this video a thumbs up hit the subscribe button if you're new and i will see you in the next one happy crafting